Hi everyone, I'm going to do an art journal page today, but first, as promised, the giveaway, the winner of the giveaway uh, goes by the name of uh, Julia Armato 3984 so Julia, please contact me through uh, Messenger or uh, in Facebook or Instagram. The details of contacting me will be in the description uh, box down below. So that's the giveaway and there will be another giveaway. I will talk about it in at the end of uh, the video. And I want to start. These are the pages I've done. These are the cleanup pages of the brayer I used in my last live stream where I made some gel prints and I had book pages to my right if you remember that each time I cleaned either the brayer or the stamping or whatever so here are the pages and I really really like them so I figured uh, I'll just try and do something with them today and I'm not going to use all of them but some of them I probably will. I think this one and this one. Let's see. Maybe this. It goes nicely with these colors. Not sure. Not sure. I will start with... Um, no. Maybe I will add this one, which has a little bit of a shine from... The metallic I used. I'm really in love with this one, but I think it will go in another <laughs> original page or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to start with this uh, pages, and I'm in the mood for circles. So, what I'm going to do is decide on one center a big circle that uh, will be where my focal point will go and then the other ones will be some part of the background. Now I need to figure out which one I want to be. <laughs> Let's see. These are all have details so maybe for the focal point it's better to just use something like that. I'm taking a compass and deciding how large I want the circle and let's see maybe a little bigger something like that yeah i think it would be interesting enough or maybe a little i'm thinking if i need to go a little <laughs> a, a smaller and now i've lost uh, the tip of the compass I've got another one a better one I should have picked this in the first place and uh, because in this kind of a uh, compass you can put a uh, whatever you want if it's a pencil a pen so that's what I'm going to use let's take this white one it would probably look uh, better on top of this and let's see i'm going to mark it and we'll see yeah i think I'm, i'll go with this one so i'm just starting to cut i'm using nail scissors if you know my channel that's what i'm using for things with the curve I'm using it to my advantage, never understood why people are still trying to cut curvy things with straight scissors. It's also more thin and dainty, so it really is... Um, easier to cut small things that's what I use to make my stencils most of the time 
Okay, so I've got one, a major circle that would probably go here. Maybe I will uh, make it a little bit smaller. I'm not sure yet. And I've got some punch, circle punches that could probably work. But um, the larger one that I have is a 2 inch and I'm not sure it's large enough right now. Let's see, I've got all kinds of stuff that make a circle that I'm always using and I think that's what I'm going to take for this and I'm just going to mark this, it's, oopsie, okay, good enough. I think I will do another circle in this size and then I will try and use the punch for a smaller circle. I'm not uh, over concerned about being precise, just having fun with it and I'm not completely sure about where everything goes as I said I'm just going to uh, have fun with it I already have some circle here I don't even remember what made this mark but probably cleaned it after I used it on the gel plate Okay, so we already have three uh, circles that are going to make a background and let's take some of the circle punch that I have. Okay, so I've got, no, this is a three inch, I thought it was a two and a half or something like that and this is a two inch. Circle punch. I probably have something more here. Let's see. Okay, I have this one. It doesn't. It, uh, I think this is one and a half punch. We'll see. Okay, so let's take something interesting out of this page I'm going to trim this part which doesn't have any interesting paint on it Again, the areas without paint are getting in my way, so I'm just taking it off. Oh, this one looks interesting. All the details of just cleaning a brayer and whatever I used on the gel plate. Let's see. Maybe another from this one. Again, it's this is not planned. I'm just playing with what I have and trying to create something interesting. Not really sure how everything is going to be on my page. Sorry, something got stuck in my, I don't know, throat, whatever. And let's see, let's try from this page. So I will have 
more than one circle from each page. The fact that I all I have on some of them some part of a circle just helps uh, along in creating something interesting. So I'm going with the smaller punch now and again taking trying to find an interesting spot. Debating if to leave uh, only the large circle with from this uh, page, painty page, or if I need to add from that page to the background with smaller circles. I think I have even a smaller punch than this, so maybe that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, I think. This is a, a little bit less than an inch, I think. Okay, so again, finding interesting areas. And just maybe another one. We'll see. Maybe one here. Okay. So that's probably going to be the layout. Something is troubling here, me here. So I'm going to try and see what will work for me. And... Maybe this, taking a step back to see <laughs> if it's working or not. You know, this area I don't like. It looks like a snowman. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Maybe here. This is, can take ages sometimes. Just deciding where everything goes. No. And once you decide, take your phone and take a picture so you can see what going, what's going on top, what's going under something. Maybe I want my a uh, bigger circle to stand out, but I also want some layering, so I don't want everything to be tucked uh, underneath it. That's the best explanation that I can <laughs> give you right now for uh, what is going on until I figure out the layout you can just scroll ahead <laughs> so because this is boring until I decide what is going on okay so I'm going to take it's going to take some time this just disappears on this one so
as I said, scroll ahead. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with me. Maybe just two like this. They don't have to be connected. So I can put some here. Yeah, okay. That's what's going to be the layout. So I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> I'm going to just glue it down and then we'll continue. I'll be back. Okay, so it mostly stayed as is, but I did change a little bit <laughs> again the the places of the circles and now I want to add some uh, details something that would be more interesting and uh, they look just a little bit too perfect for me so I'm just going to take this I don't know what to call it it's just some kind of a marker a pen with very a uh, small uh, tip and I'm just going uh, very loosely around each circle and just adding something so they won't be so perfect. Again, this is just me. If you are doing something like that, then and you don't like loose and wavy and whatever, then don't do it. You can uh, you can darken the edges with a stamp pad. You can give each circle more a uh, more depth by darkening part of it i will uh, probably do it i'm not sure yet right now i just want to go around each circle as if someone um, i don't know sewed this uh, patches of circles with the free freehand a uh, sewing machine I don't know how to explain it I hope you see what I'm doing. A little bit difficult on the ones with the metallic paint it's like not letting me do it doesn't take uh, the ink as well as the acrylic paint well the metallics are also acrylic paint but probably different uh, substance I don't know what to call it so it's a little bit trickier making the same marks on top of the metallic. not glued well here I need to add some glue okay so that's done 
and let's see let's darken a little bit part of the circles I'm taking just a pencil it can be 6b 10b 12b and uh, just uh, it's more it's darker and the graphite is softer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some at the bottom of uh, each circle now I can go and just smear it with my finger or if you have this stumps you can also uh, use something like that I can also darken a little bit when there is an overlapping so it will just give a the illusion of a more a depth to the circles oops don't know if it will work again on the metallic maybe on the metallic I can also take a um, a brush with a, an ink pad and do this if it doesn't work as good and this a circle is darker so maybe again I will need something darker to create the same illusion we'll see right now I'm just using this pen this pencil and I will see if I need to try something else to make it work okay let's see no this is I'm thinking of also creating a shadow underneath each circle just to again elevate this and so it won't look flat and so let's see a little bit underneath I'm just doing it very quickly Again, I'm, I just, it's quick just because it really doesn't matter to me. I'm not looking for precision. I'm not going for anything realistic. Just to give some kind of the best word I can find for it is illusion. The illusion of death into the background. I can also add highlights by using a white pencil and maybe I will I'm not sure yet just going with the flow and we'll see where it gets me I just had some kind of vague idea of using cir circles from the cleanup pages and that's it nothing more <laughs> Sometimes it just works better smearing <laughs> with your finger. What can I say?
Okay, so let's see. I'm taking a black ink pad and some brush. Just, okay, here we go. Just several places that I think need a little bit more definition than the pencil gave me. When you're uh, learning drawing, the classical drawing, the one that you do only with pencils, one of the things that they keep repeating, at least my teacher, was there is always like um, there is light, there is shadow, there is half shadow and shadow and then again. <laughs> so basically what I'm creating here is half shadow, more shadow. <laughs> okay. And maybe here underneath because these two circles are going on top of this. So, and let's drop shadow here underneath this circle that I almost forgot. Okay. starting to look different and where did I put the white pencil here we go I can if I put the shadow in this part it basically you think anything you do uh, at, at least in painting you think where the light comes you basically you are working on a flat, sur flat surface and when you want to give something a little bit more depth, you are uh, trying to figure out where you want your light to come from. So if, let's say this is a light bulb, if it's going from here, so here will be the light and here underneath will be the shadow. So, and again, change where the light comes from and again it changes where you put everything so I can add white like this just to give some highlight which would be to counter the shadowing again something is bothering me don't know it's like a hiccup but not a hiccup And of course you can decide how prominent you want it or how smudge do you want it up to you. Why did I put I don't know where I bought this. Never heard of the uh, don't know really sorry probably in one of my journeys to Europe wherever I go I uh, look for craft shops art shops cheap stores no <laughs> it doesn't matter where I am okay it's time for my focal point and again what I've done I've taken some printer paper that I colored in all kinds of stuff through uh, fruit time and more painty papers that I have. I'll, I'm going to show you from the back just so you can get my drift. These were with sprays that, and it's just printer paper. This is one that I've done with the bingo daubers. This one, I'm uh, some watercolors you can't see from this side. So all kinds of painty papers and then I want I want I knew I wanted some butterfly and I found some 
free print printables on the internet I will put the uh, link in the description box this was the free printable and then what I've done I just put the printer papers there in my uh, printer and printed it on these painty papers so I will have something interesting not just for this page but for other projects so now I need to figure out what butterfly I'm going to use which now that I'm thinking about it would probably be this one this one is just a little bit I think too large but I can uh, I can uh, cut both of them and see how it works I'm not even sure yet about the color so I don't know do I want to go with something really striking or to go with the program of the rest of <laughs> the colors that I already got here let's try this very colorful butterfly and we'll see where it gets me maybe after I'll cut it it just won't work in terms of the size and I will need to try something else so we'll see but I just wanted to show you how all kinds of it doesn't really matter what kind of technique you use to create your painting paper but if you are a uh, making it on your printer paper then afterwards you can stick it in the cartridge of the printer and print whatever you want as long as it's black and white and then you will have very unique results Sometimes I drew things that I drew by hand, I will scan them and then I can print them on whatever I want, if it's just white or if it's a painty paper. So a lot of the time it's just more sensible to make painty papers on printer paper because I just I can just stick them and make other interesting stuff okay let's see i didn't cut the antennas i they are just too dainty and does won't work so I will draw them by hand. Okay, so this just disappears here. That means that I need something brighter or a lighter. It can be brighter like this and it can be just lighter in color like this. So I think I'm going to try this one first. And again, watching me cut fussy cut a butterfly is boring you can just scroll forward and see how what came out of it without seeing the whole process of me cutting butterflies Now, painty papers sometimes after putting all the paint, uh, they start to get uh, curves, I don't know what to call it. Uh, so you can iron them and then put them in the printer cartridge or drawer. I don't know what you call the compartment that you put the paper in sorry maybe cartridge is more for the ink that goes into the printer
now I will have lots and lots of butterflies for other projects okay this one works and what I'm going to do is put some glue I'm not even trying to I, I'm not going even to put all on all of it it doesn't really matter for me going to stand because I can't see this close up if I'm putting it in the right place let's see yeah I think just yeah definitely that's the place I just want a little bit more here and now that this got covered just so everything will work okay so let no I need something a little bit more Let's see other markers with a fine tip but a little larger than the one I used. Not that it's that important but if I can make it then okay here we go. Now I'm thinking But I'm going to go a little bit around here again very loosely just because it needs a little bit more definition it also uh, connects by doing the same thing it connects with the other parts on the page if you go with very loose with a kind of line I did on the circles then doing the same kind of line on the butterfly will connect the, all the pieces and let's try and give it again just a little bit of a highlight I don't know why I can I'm doing it I don't know how much of it it can can be seen but nonetheless and just a little bit of darkening here and a little bit here again I'm, I'm not sure how much of all these subtle things you can see but it's here so <laughs> okay I'm looking at it and I just want something some writing here so I have some I know I have some something with butterflies in it some writing some stamp I just need to find it mm. of course now it, it will disappear yay found it mm. I think you know I'm going to take this fly away that's what I'm going to take maybe I'm going to fly away we booked a flight some uh, some companies uh, resumed 
their uh, flights to Israel and we booked a flight which I'm I'm excited and I'm worried it's <laughs> that <laughs> it's it's both I'm excited because for a long time I haven't gone anywhere and I'm worried because of all the hate right now for Jewish people, for Israelis, for Israel, for whatever. So we'll see. And of course, nowadays with the war, we, you can't know what will happen each day. It can also get canceled. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm happy. I have some writing in <laughs> on the page and it says fly away. So that's it. That's the page for today. And now for the giveaway. If I can find it with all the stuff I have going on here. It's probably not only me, but I'm st when I, I start something... And as I go, the <laughs> the real estate just sh shrinks here. Okay, where did I put the giveaway? Here we go, found it. Okay, so moving a little bit of the stuff just so we won't get distracted. So here is the next giveaway. Uh, this little, uh, I don't know what to call it, booklet that I've made, some tags, this mini journal or album, whatever, you can put photos, you can journal in this, whatever you want to do, if you want to start here, you want to start here, basically it's going, uh, I went and done some from dark to light or light to dark in the pages they have a lot of texture and stenciling with gold so you can do whatever you want some some of the birdies I made in one of the live streams that you saw me do a, a set of this a, stamps and these are stencils that my design my uh, by hand by me <laughs> so don't expect a uh, machine quality this is cut by hand these are my designs these are uh, some of uh, the best that i like to use in my work so i figured that's what i'm going to send in a giveaway here we go and just this envelope because i really liked it and I thought it would be nice also to include in the giveaway. So that's uh, the giveaway for uh, this time. And again, whoever wants to be in the giveaway needs to uh, leave me a comment down below. And you have until next Monday. So again a week and next monday i will uh, announce who won the giveaway i hope to do it each monday and i'm not sure about uh, the live streams not sure if there will be a live stream this uh, thursday or Friday for <laughs> if I'm doing a live stream it's here uh, in between Thursday and Friday so time zones is di are different and for well Australia is already Friday I'm not sure if there will be a, a live stream not sure when my next video will be but uh, what I do know is next Monday I will do a video and there will be uh, the winner of the giveaway and probably another uh, giveaway. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. So see you in my next video. Bye for now.